All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm gonna to be just talking about an idea which I think will really help you to get more control in your lucid dreams, okay? So this is something I get asked a lot, uh, and this is, people ask me, well, I'm having these lucid dreams, uh, and you know, I'm entering the dream, but I find I can't control things. Uh, and I've made a few video videos about this before, but I'd just like to talk about the idea of expectation, because this is really important, and this is gonna help you a lot, okay? So when you have a lucid dream, or a dream in general, what's happening is your mind is creating the world based on things like your memories, your beliefs, your experiences, your imagination, uh, and a few other things, you know, ideas that are floating around your subconscious, but generally it's those things, okay? Uh, and the idea that I wanna share with you is that whatever you expect to happen in a lucid dream will usually happen, okay? Now there are times where this isn't the case, uh, and you'll find that the more lucid dreams you have, the more your subconscious can just surprise you, like out of nowhere, something that you didn't expect to happen will just happen. But generally speaking, I'd say about 90% of the time, okay, what you expect to happen will usually happen, okay? So this is a really key concept which I want you guys to sort of grasp, is that if you're trying to do something, say if you're trying to fly, okay, if you're trying to teleport, if you're trying to do all these really cool uh, tricks you can do in a lucid dream, if you expect them to work, they will, okay? And I'd just like to share a story which um, which I've, it's in one of my ebooks, okay? And this is when I was trying to do a little trick where I walk through walls, okay? So I was being chased by something. I looked around, I realized that it was a dream, something wasn't right, you know, something didn't feel right. So I did a reality check, I became lucid, and I thought, okay, well, let's just have a bit of fun with this. Let's actually just keep the chase going. And to escape this, I think it was like some sort of dragon type beast, like a phoenix that was chasing me, I don't know why. Um, I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna just walk through this wall. Okay, so there was this giant wall, it must have been about 50, 50 foot high or something. Uh, and I just tried to walk through it. Okay, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. So I put my hand, just like I would here, I just put my hand against the wall, pushed fairly slowly at first, and my hand went through, my arm, my shoulder, and it got to the point where my head was through, but half of my body wasn't, okay? And at this point, what happened was, um, from somewhere, out of nowhere, I had the thought come into my mind that, hang on, you shouldn't be able to walk through walls. That's not usually possible, okay? And that one thought changed everything. So from that point, I was completely stuck, okay? I couldn't move. I was stuck in the wall. Uh, and this really does emphasize how important it is to expect things to happen, uh, because subconsciously, uh, I had the small thought enter my mind that I shouldn't be able to do this, I shouldn't be able to walk through walls, it's not usually possible, okay, this is again, based on the ideas that I've, and the, based on the ideas and beliefs that I've built up through waking life, through all of the experiences I've had, you know, uh, in waking life, I've never been able to walk through walls, so therefore, there's that subconscious belief in the back of my mind that I'm not able to do it, it's impossible. Right? So the second that belief entered my mind, the second I had that thought, I was completely frozen in place. I couldn't move through the wall. Okay? And this is really important. And then obviously the next night and the night after that, I tried again to do the same thing. And I realized that as soon as I completely, fully expected to be able to walk through the wall, I could. Okay? And this is really important. So anything you're trying to do, if you're trying to have more control, if you're trying to fly, Pretty much anything you're trying to do that you can't usually do in waking life, you need to fully expect it to happen and believe that it's possible. Otherwise, it won't happen. <laughs> and I get a lot of emails saying, you know, why am I stuck? Why can't I fly? Why do I keep falling down? Why can't I escape nightmares? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? And the reason usually is because you're not fully trusting that you can do it. Okay, so really just try this as a little experiment. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. The next time you're in a lucid dream, Try and do something that you would never normally be able to do and really expect it to happen, really believe it's gonna happen. Almost see it happening before you do it. Imagine what it would feel like. Im see yourself doing the thing that you want to do and you'll be able to do it. Okay, so give that a go um, and I'll see you in the next video.